It's October 11th. The defendant is back in the area of Millville and he meets up with the victim. This conversation is also recorded. In regards to that conversation, um, and I should note as well as that first conversation back on the 24th, the defendant is offering victim number two money if he doesn't talk. Keep your mouth shut. You don't have to say anything. I don't have much, but what I can give you, I'll give you with love. I'll protect you. I'll help you with your papers. You don't have to talk. The victim at one point says in response to some of the things that uh, the defendant is saying to him, well, what if I tell the truth? His response, meaning the defendant's is, if you tell the truth, I'll go to jail and my family will be destroyed. Why was he meeting with the kid? Because the kid called him on the phone and asked him to come, come and talk to me. The cops are harassing me. What should I do? I listen to these tapes. They're in Spanish, but I had two bilingual people listen to them also. And what he's telling the, the, the alleged victim is, you don't have to talk to the cops. And if that's a problem, every defense attorney I know has the same problem. Because you don't have to talk to the cops if you don't want to. But they come after you, and they come after you, and they come after you. So what he, I heard, what it was interpreted to me on the tapes is, if you're going to talk to them, make sure you tell them the truth.